Hello and welcome to episode 4 of this Civilization 4 Let's Play. Playing as the Mongol Empire. And, uh, yeah, we're just, it's, things are just starting to get sake. tight. We're starting to get point. hinged on a good few sides. Art for the uh, I think we do have you, gold and we do, we're about to get marble. So we might be able to make uh, two of these wonders without much trouble. And we can push up towards literacy, literacy probably. Let's have a look at this though. Uh, currency would be quite nice. We can probably trade for a lot of these cheaper things uh, as they come in. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. The currency, I'd like to start trading for uh, sell off my wasted resources, things like that. I think that's what this allows, doesn't it? Yeah, gold trading. All right, so let's aim towards that, and we'll have these guys come down and work on the marble. Now, um, I was going to look. Oh, that's it. I was going to look at the tech tree. So I've lots I can, I can trade. I've lots of technology they don't have, but I'm I'm waiting for them to build up some of these technologies. Like someone like Hamanatra to, to say, all right, I'll deal all these. Might be a little bit off, and our money has got a little bit tight, but I guess that'll improve greatly with this if this great light has finished. And if it doesn't finish, we'll get a bit of money for it. All right, I shouldn't have just changed there without checking everything. Um, he is about to go unhappy, so we might as well get him the forge that'll uh, increase his population and also give him an extra happiness. He can grow fairly naturally after that. And there's also a temple we could build them. This guy come out and help get this marble ASAP. All right, let's look around the other places. Yeah, we don't want you to grow. We would like uh, to speed up that library though to do it next turn. I guess I need to get that forge out. Just it'll give him more happiness. It will give him um, stronger growth. He has no growth. It's all about whipping in this city. And right, fine. He can go. Oh, natural. Is that if that's the correct saying? Well, he's very unhappy. <laughs> it must be because I keep whipping him. Um, well, I'm going to continue whipping you because I really need that. Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot to think about wonders. I really need some culture in this guy. Let's go for the forge next. Uh, it's not culture, but it is happiness and it is the ability to get culture. All right, we'll have this guy build a wonder, no problem, and we'll probably have the capital. That'll be the two wonders we had our eye on there, gold and the marble wonder. Who's this lad? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see a fist. Crap, okay. The German Empire, where are they? I think I'm getting notifications of the top here, but I'm still not smart enough to read them. I don't see them uh, anywhere. I, I guess I need to try a couple of extra scouts just to see what's in the world. But I don't think they're on my borders. Like, it's, it'd be unlikely. They'd have to get through the Native Americans, the Celts, or the, well, actually, I have four neighbors. That's uh, that's not ideal. Pardon me. Uh, we could get this guy another bit of happiness, or we could build a wonder. You know, I think we might be able to get all three of these wonders. Um, Statue of Zeus, not ideal, not perfect at the moment. Um, I don't even know how to say this. The Golden Palace, I'm going to call that. And am I not missing one? Where? Hmm. Um, maybe I'm not able to build it yet, or maybe somebody else has started to build this. I'll have to check on that. I'd love to get a temple out for the happiness levels, but... Let's have a look at the city. Yeah, he can grow. Um, let's, let's just get the... No, let's go for that palace, sure, why not? And I want to see if anybody has that technology. What do we get? Aesthetics, isn't it? So he wants aesthetics. Now, not wanting it, does that mean he has it? I doubt it. 
Bismarck uh, doesn't have writing, so I don't think he can have aesthetics. Uh, doesn't have writing, I don't think he can have aesthetics. Okay, so let's look a little closer at at that one that we should have just unlocked. Probably requires something else. Okay, requires polytheism. Uh, no real hurry, I'd have to say. I'll keep an eye on my notifications when, uh, especially uh, Hamanabra. I'm just going to mumble the rough letters of his name. The Babylonians. Especially when the Babylonians uh, unlock all these, then I can get them in one for a fail sweep, maybe. Swoop. I can get two. To Actually, I can already get two. I, w I would like uh, Polytheism to come on the table somewhere and maybe horseback riding. So I'll hold out a little longer. I don't think they're going to uh, catch up to aesthetics all that soon. Now I don't sit see who's active. Here we go. Um, hey, Golden Age. I love Golden Ages. It's I don't know if they're... I don't think they're the most efficient, but I personally love them. <laughs> right, Dave. Some people have mathematics. Nobody seems to have a calendar. I could rush towards calendar. Trade for mathematics. Rush towards calendar. And get um, mausoleum mausoleums. I have the marble. And get my extra long golden ages that I quite enjoy. <laughs> How did we get a trade? There was, that was like a 10% chance. Obviously, we could go for a technology. Does discovering a technology uh, give like an overflow? Like in buildings? Because I hate, I'd hate to waste all of this on currency. But currency is such a valuable thing to get. I'd be very tempted. Like, if I knew there was an overflow, fine, I'd do it in a second. Uh, but... There, it's, I only need 550. If this bulb would actually provide me with a thousand, like, why would I waste it all on currency? I just hate the idea of doing that. Um, if I haven't joined my capital, like, I get that six gold every time for the rest of this game. If I get them to do a trade mission, I get lots of money now, which can be very valuable, especially as I'm a bit broke. I don't know. I'm just going to err on the side of this can't be that bad of an idea having them in my own city. So I'm just going to err on the side of that for the moment. Okay, this guy probably needs actually a bit of food. Uh, probably getting three, three pieces of food off that. We could speed up, speed it up by um, chopping that forest and other things. Ah, I was ignoring, uh, ignoring this guy a bit. It doesn't matter if he doesn't want happiness for a second though, because he's about to get out of it. <laughs> and at most, uh, I'll make this city happy by turning two of our citizens to sleep. I should do it. Yeah, there we go. That made them much happier. Civ. Life lessons for all. Alright, that guy can stay going. Um, oh my god, he's still fairly unhappy. Uh, we'll have to try and get the forge out of him next. Just for happiness levels alone. And if I have the forge, since I have forges everywhere, maybe I should push it towards that silver um, like it's fairly close to the capital so the maintenance fees won't be as bad as these other places are how, how bad is this far away one it's still very small so not too bad at all okay right, the German Empire seems to have a lot of cities and so does the Native Americans We're getting quite near the end of our... Okay, just people have grown. Uh, temple will be quicker to get out, but no, let's go with the forge and we'll whip like probably three population at some stage in the future. 
let's link these cities up a little more. <laughs> Maybe a road through the middle as well to, to help support these guys if they get invaded. When they get invaded. Yeah, he's, his population is going to stay growing, just in the background there. His population is going to stay growing, despite being unhappy. I thought it might. Okay, Brennis, um, if I'm if I'm correct, you're probably still not you're probably still not happy, um, popular with the other guys. So let's see, you're not popular with Sitting Bull, and I'm much more worried about him. So no, I'm. Oh, I'm also. My two, uh, my two neighbors, my two sort of allies. Yeah, no, I'm not making any deal with you. In fact, I would actively like to stop you doing some things. I'd act if I actively hurted you, that'd be fine with me as well. They would, those guys would like me more for it. I don't need a road that far. One thing that's throwing me from, uh, one thing that's throwing me in Civ Five a lot. Is the fact that the roads cost uh, cost money, like, and I'm like, what? Roads costing money? I build them everywhere. <laughs> um, it's a bit strange. Okay, we have marble. We do go them. This city. It's slow. It's growth down a little. Ah, it's building on one there, so it's already slowed its own growth down. That's fine. Um, it's going to it's going to just peak into unhappiness before um, the slavery the slavery penalty wears out oh I'm actually going to get to Great Lighthouse somehow maybe <laughs> okay uh, we'll probably whip towards this forge soonish going to go into unhappiness levels. Uh, there's not much I can do about it. Like, maybe if I build a... Yeah, maybe if I get a... Uh, oh, if I get some work here, maybe. I'd rather have them just grow in population. Just give me more population to, to whip. Wow, that's a bit of money. Uh, before throwing out another wonder, we're a little unhealthy. We need mathematics to sort that out a bit. Um, what am I saving my capital for? Maybe I'll just get the Maori statues in my capital. But first, I am going to throw out a settler and get that silver. Uh, we'll let it build naturally. Yeah, that silver will pretty much give two happiness to each of my cities. Uh, we'll have a few of the workers start moving up now, actually. Uh, once this finishes, I'll be able to change civics into a religion. Not very efficiently, I don't think I've done this, but... Any resources I can get. Oh, clams, yeah, I'd actually quite like that. Pardon me, from the Babylonians. Right, you anywhere close to being able to... You can only avail of two. Why is that? Why can some avail of three and some can avail of two? Not quite sure. Have you got your happiness back? Must have <coughs> Level must have gone down a bit. Right, you're a bit off being able to grow as well, and uh, you'll go into unhappiness for sure. Okay, so the Celts are unhappy with us. Um, I think I'm going to have to put a f build a bit of an army down there, or maybe, maybe how. Well, I don't really want Sitting Bull to invade the Celts. Wow, everybody's so evil. 
Like, nobody's uh, that far behind us. Like, oh, they don't have a chance in this game. Um, I would love somebody to invade the Celts, but I don't actually know where everything is. Let's have a look at the relationships. Maybe, actually, they don't need to be beside each other. It doesn't need to be a successful war. Uh, the Celts are not liked by Sitting Bull and... But, you know, the problem is I don't want Sitting Bull to wipe them out. But if Sitting Bull starts getting the better of them, I can move in as well. Alright, would you be willing to declare war? Nope. <laughs> hmm. Gilgamesh. Uh, I think he has a slight border with me. Is that correct? I think I would find him down here to my left. Um, Sitting Bull is scarier to me than you are, so... No. This is cool. I'm actually taking... Maybe because of this mod, but I'm taking more of an interest in these deals. Okay, see it. Uh... Yeah, I'm not as worried about Gilgamesh. That'd be a hard place to invade from through all these forests. Whereas he has my guys up against a wall down here. Oh, I still want to be able to grow these. Okay, I had plans down here, but I want... How many of these workers? I'd have to say two of these workers to come up here and help me out. ASAP. Suleiman. Right, he's not li liked by the Celts. Um, that's fine. I think he can come into my alliance. The, there's a, an alliance sort of in my head. What happened to Suleiman? <laughs> um, I pressed exit. I think that might be the mistake I'm making. That might be costing me a little bit here. Get back over here, guy. There you go. Now, you would be willing to declare war on him. Interesting. No, you wouldn't do it for aesthetics? I'll have to... I'll consider that. I'd certainly consider giving him that, but only if I was trading aesthetics around, around the houses anyway. Now, people have become even less willing to trade something with me. There's something missing here. Yes, yeah, somebody was... He was willing to give me mathematics. He was he was happier with me at that time in his life. Uh, did I already send two up there? I want to say yes. Okay, we're about to get a bit more in happiness, but it's not the end of the world. Hey! We are quite the trading partners, but I've given you everything I've got. Uh, does having a road to the city increase how much money or something? Sustained peace. 150% for sustained peace. That's a quite the bonus for trade, I suppose. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to let these guys grow. A lot of extra unhappiness, but I might be able to um, start hacking some people down. Heck. A few archers and a few... And a few of everything, pretty much. Uh, you can't grow at the moment, but if you just hold in there, you'll be getting some growth out of you soon. Let's get rid of some of these more impressive growths. And scientists. Uh, I'll have another city just concentrate on um, going, towards, uh, going towards scientists. Mr. Scientist.
I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with the uh, great people. Should I be just throwing it in whenever I can? Where is my... Right, how much of a chance does that give towards the great scientist? I guess he'll just start growing. Growing into it. Yeah, whatever. I'll do that until someone tells me it's a terrible idea. And I'm not really sure how terrible of an idea this is I'm about to either. Let's see, I want you over here because I need a little more work from this guy. Ugh. Still can't grow him. <gasps> I have a library sitting there. <laughs> Finished. That's been a long time coming. What an absolute waste. Oh. Right, what about you? Can you finish that here? No. Oh, man, that could be add that could have been adding a lot of culture. I could even speed up uh, that, but there's I don't there's no real point to it. His happiness is about to become okay one turn from now. Um yeah, there's no point speeding that up. So what's the point building on that uh, hill? He actually needs more food, this guy. Um, he has no culture. I was hoping... I was hoping something would find him. Let's uh, steal this floodplain. No. <laughs> Simple. No. Yeah, I'm very worried about these cities. Ah, that's a much better place to build them. Mine actually forced a uh, you can so we'll cancel that and bring him over to this hill because this hill is just going to fall at the start of any kind of war just move there don't worry about it don't question me I think I have to wait for the population to grow or for the forge to build a little more and this guy the same I just don't know how to really gauge when or if I can do it Actually, I think I'll get a notification when I can do it. All right, let's do one more turn. Oh, wow, that middle city grew a lot faster than I realized. I haven't been keeping an eye on them. That's all. Uh, I guess all those farms and floodplains will do that to you. Uh, Gilgamesh, let me just have a quick look at your how well liked you are. Nobody hates you. I'm willing to go for that. A uh, sitting bull hates Ramis. All right. And uh, how's he liked by everyone else? Wait, wait. Sitting bull. Is, sorry, the Celts are disliked, whereas sitting bull is hated by him. That's likely who he's who he's planning a war against. Oh no, it was the Germans who are planning war. Actually, let's have a look at the Germans. Uh, they. They don't seem to dislike anyone. That's a bit of a worry. They're actually very happy with most people. Except for me <laughs> and uh, and Bramus. Okay, what if I exit out of this? Okay, that's pressing escape is what closes this window in the background. I will take that deal. No, but I should be reading up a little bit here. They're happy sitting bull. Sitting Bull's worst enemy of Giglamesh. Okay, and, and some people are able to now whip. Okay, I'll check them a little more manually in a moment. Right, this middle city, first of all, he's definitely a candidate. Uh, this city, not yet. Let him finish naturally and we'll whip this city as well. What have I got going on in the capital? Just some armed forces. I don't think I'm as in danger as I thought I was.
So we'll have him build the Maori statues. And I really need culture over here. Um, of course, I'd love to build, like, say, a wonder just to help him out with that culture, but that's not going to happen with the with the lack of the lack of hammers he has. Oh my god! I think I said it one more turn a couple of turns ago. I just fully ignored it. Um, oh well. Okay, now I have to start thinking a little about um, maybe I'll build. Uh, sorry, I have to start thinking a little about my religion. But maybe I will build this world wonder because I don't think anybody else can get near it at the moment. Maybe I'll build it in a third city, then I'd have three wonder cities. First off, let's let's go with that. Uh, how realistic? He doesn't look to have much of a. He's not much of a powerhouse. He's more of a food and whip sort of city. Let's build a barracks for the upcoming war. Let's get uh, these guys out here. You fall back there, lads. Come on, let me whip you into uh, submission. Um, I think I'd rather have his population grow until I get at least a, a mine on up there. Uh, his... His health will grow a little too quick. Something must have changed there. They That's a lot of money, these water tiles, though. I don't want to lose them. Especially when there's such a nothing tile there. Alright, that'll do better. Four and four. His his happiness will increase with the size of the city. I need to get some some vision down there. Let's get this worker. This warrior, I mean, um, just to walk down there. And that, this time, I will really end the video. <laughs> so I hope, hope we catch you next time. This is a fascinating game for me. Like, it's the first time I've, I've started to use this whipping a little more, uh, I wouldn't say correctly, but a little more extensively. It's also the first time I've done a full game with this mod. But I've never seen a game that's so even. Like the last place Civ, uh, score-wise, only 150 from the top, well within reach. It's, it's, I don't know. It's it's interesting to me. Uh, the Germans are still planning a war. I don't think they're at war with anyone. No. They have good relations with everyone except for me and one other. Nobody's really happy with me. I maybe have to start thinking more about my, my things like that. Now, I I would have thought this would actually expand to show me each of the cities. Because this guy must be giving me a great person. Yes, he is. Um, nobody else must be, but... I tell you what, off screen I'll have a look in the settings. I think they're up here. I'll have a look at these settings and see if I can add in an extra charter. Until then... Catch it. Oh my god, I, I considered ending this video at 22 and I stand 28. So until then, I'll see you next time.